Hello everyone, this is Barga Technical Solution and I am Fred Dosrohaman. In this video, we are going to see how to use the ADC or analog to digital converter uh, in ESP. So, first let us see how to create the circuit. So, here we have our ESP32 and we have our potentiometer and this one is 10 k ohm. So, 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. So, what we have done is the leftmost pin will be connected to the ground and the rightmost pin is connected to the uh, 5 volt pin of our ESP32 and here we have connected our potentiometer's middle pin or the wiper which we will use to read the potentiometer reading is connected to pin number 0 because this is the pin that we can use to read our ADC value. So, if you can see here, we have some cells or blocks colored orange. So, these cells connected to the pins uh, we can use to read our ADC value. So, here we have the pin, the SP, the SN, G34, G35 and such, such more. And here in this side we have G4 or pin number 4 pin number 0, pin number 2 and pin number 15. So, I am using the pin number 0 here. So, this is the circuit that we designed and I showed in, in the diagram. So, this is the negative or the ground pin which is connected to the ground pin of the ESP. Uh, let me focus it. Here it is connected to the ground pin. The leftmost pin is the is connected to the ground pin. The rightmost pin, the red wire, is connected to the 5 volt pin. And the middle one, which is the wiper pin, is connected to the pin number 0 here it is connected to pin number 0 so this so this is our this is our circuit so now let's go to our arduino ide to program the esp32 so now we are in our arduino ide the first thing we need to do as always is to we need to write constant and set up the pin which is the pot pin oh, and we are using the pin number 0. So, the pot pin means the potentiometer pin that we will use to read the potentiometer value or uh, the ADC value. So, then we need to save the ADC value somewhere. So, to do that we have defined another uh, variable pot value. Then in our void setup part we need to connect our ID to our serial monitor. So, to do that we have write serial dot begin and the value or the bar value is 11.52.00 which we need to select in here the bar value is 11.52.00. So, then over here you know the potentiometer will receive the volt of 0 to 5 volt but the ESP will spit out and value of 0 to 4,095. So, this is the value we will be getting. So, for 0 it means it is 0 volt and for 4,095 it means it is receiving 5 volt. Then in our void loop part what we need to do is we need to save our potentiometer values that we will read from analog read. So, what we have done is we have write pot value is equal analog read and the pin we will be reading is the pot pin that is the pin number 0. Then we need to print this value to our serial print serial monitor. To do that we write serial dot print ln and in our parenthesis we write pot value. The serial will start with a capital S in both places. And then lastly we give a delay of 500 millisecond or for half a second so that we can read all the value. Now we upload our code. 
So first let's give it a name ADC read and save it. Then it will start uploading to our ESP32. Before we do that, select this value in our Arduino RD serial monitor in this position. Now as it is saying hard resetting via RTS, RTS pin, now if we go to our serial monitor, we will see that it is printing out 0 because our potentiometer is receiving 0 volt. Now if I turn the potentiometer slowly, you will see that the value is changing and it will stop at 4095 uh, because it is receiving now 5 volt. Now if I do the opposite it will start decreasing and it will reach to zero so thank you everyone for watching the video and if this video was helpful please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos